Hello, I'm Kevin Dupuy, and I thought this might be a good opportunity for you to know more about me and why I'm running. I've worked for numerous companies creating accounting, barcoding, and manufacturing systems. For the last number of years, I worked in knowledge management and partnered with OpenText as a consultant for the Waterloo Regional Government, a number of companies, and Inco, where I traveled throughout the world setting up document management systems and training people on the use of their customized systems. I've worked in the IT field for over 35 years, and I believe this gives me a greater understanding of our area, which is the hub of Canada's tech sector. But I've also worked in retail. When I was younger, I had the good fortune to work for a home hardware store, and I would repair windows, appliances, bikes, lawnmowers, and snowblowers. I had to know all about plumbing and electrical to help the customers coming in. Later, I worked for a large stereo chain selling audio equipment. But I originally grew up on a farm, and I understand the needs and frustrations of the agricultural sector. Canada is failing in so many of the areas we used to excel in. We had a wonderful manufacturing sector. Here in Kitchener, we had the John Forsyth Company that made shirts for fashion designers Pierre Cardin and Bill Blass. We had the Aero Shirt Factory. At St. Léger and Bright Up, they designed and manufactured shoes at the Greb Factory. I remember as a kid touring the bud plant and being amazed at the car frames and the sound of steel dropping under the metal stamping presses to the floor below. I worked for Inco when it was sold to Valet, a Brazilian company. Did you know that at one time Inco controlled 70% of the nickel market? It was Inco that came up with the idea for stainless steel kitchen sinks instead of porcelain in order to find new avenues for nickel. Canada has been mismanaged for many years. We sell off all of our natural resources. Heck, we sell Alberta oil at a fraction of the price that we pay for Saudi Arabian oil. In November of 2018, WTI oil was at 56.96 a barrel. You could buy Canadian oil for 11.03. Canadians are getting less than 20% of the going price. It just doesn't seem fair. No wonder Alberta wants to leave. The government won't do anything about the imbalance. The COVID pandemic has left us in a very vulnerable state. We rely on China and other countries to supply us with medical needs. Mr. Trudeau has given China $42 billion to build factories in China. I'm not sure how that helps out Canadians. My name is Kevin Dupuy, and I'm asking you to vote for me to represent you in this next election.